But President Obama coming underneath uh, an extreme amount of criticism for his continued drone policy, I don't think is, I mean, you can criticize him all you want, right? <laughs> let's, let's just start there. You could criticize him all you want. I don't think the criticism is valid in this post- Iraq invasion world, not post 9-11, but the post Iraq invasion world where we have destabilized a region. We did not put all of the troops that we needed and focus on Afghanistan. And so we have had two ongoing wars that have just lingered, lingered. And now President Obama is saying, well, we're not going to fight this with troops. We're going to fight this with drones. Would you guys rather he put troops on the ground? Or would you rather that he just completely just evacuate the entire region and let the dominoes fall the way that they're going to fall? I don't think either solution is a good solution. So all of the criticism of President Obama's continuation of the drone uh, uh, policy and then even Bernie Sanders, the criticism of Bernie Sanders, that he may continue the same foreign policy. You know, I really want to know wh what your solution is. And I think that's what I'm getting to. As tragic as it was on Saturday, what is your solution for everyone who's criticizing Obama, everyone who's criticizing uh, um, Hillary Clinton, everyone who's cl criticizing the fact that Democrats have not stopped droning? What is your actual solution? And that's what pisses me the hell off with a lot of critics on the left is that it's easy to criticize, but if you have not bringing a solution, then you're just talking. You're just running your mouth. Now, this does not excuse what happened on Saturday. There needs to be an account. There needs to be an investigation. Um, like the United Nations said, it needs to be a separate investigation. We need to find out exactly what happened and why there was a lapse in, in technology and in, 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 in intelligence. You know, at this point, there is no excuse um, for, for us to have targeted militants who were miles away and end up hitting a hospital, right? So let's do a full investigation. Let's have a full accounting. Let's see where it broke down. Let's whoever needs to be punished, penalized, whatever, however that cookie crumbles, let it crumble. But for everyone who's using this as, a, as an attempt to say President Obama is just no good, he's just another neocon, what is your solution in the Middle East? What is your solution? To something that is already broken, something that we're pot committed. Anyone who plays poker, you understand you are pot committed in the Middle East. We have put too much into it and it has become too destabilized for us to just walk away. But the newest round of criticism has come as almost as a deflection. They're saying they don't want to hear President Obama talk about gun control when he's not doing and when he's continuing his droning in the Middle East. OK, let me address that. And then let me talk about uh, Umqua Community College. Um, first of all, to say that President Obama should not talk about gun control until he changes his gun drone policy in the Middle East is as ridiculous as people saying Black Lives Matter should focus on black on black crime and pay and do nothing about police brutality. That's how ridiculous it is. It's not an either or proposition. It is a both and proposition. We can we can chew gum and walk at the same time. We can address his droning policy at the same time we can address the gun control policy. If you think that President Obama should not address gun control because we're still droning in the Middle East, I think you have reduced yourself to ridiculousness. And you've reduced yourself to being this perpetual critic of a foreign policy that you disagree with, but have no solution, no viable solution to replace what's currently being done. Bring me a viable solution that actually does not make the problem worse. And then I will join the band of criticizing President Obama because they should have figured out that solution too. But the problem is there. No one, not with regard to Syria, not with regard to Iran, uh, not with regard to Iraq, ISIS, Afghanistan, no one has a viable solution other than what's currently going on that will not make the situation worse than it already is. And so you have these intellectual critics who just sit back and pontificate about all the things that President Obama and Democrats and Bernie Sanders, if he gets elected, he said he's going to continue it. So they're all doing it wrong. 
but you brilliant people have not offered a solution that will not make the situation worse. So my advice to you is put up or shut the hell up. You don't have a solution, so move on to criticizing something else. Hey, if you want to know who I'm always talking about, take a look at Noam Chomsky, uh, Cornell West is, uh, you know, and, and don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean I dislike them. That just means that that one particular issue, I, can't, I, I really don't like them all because I don't like people who are going to just run their mouth and criticize but have no solution. One of the things I did when I was working, uh, I mean, I still work in corporate America, but when I was had actually had a leadership position in corporate America, when somebody actually brought me a problem, and said that something couldn't be done, I made them tell me why it could be done. Because people have a propensity to always bring you problems and never bring you a solution. And I got tired of that. That's just not how, that's not how the business world works. That's not how my brain works. If you're going to bring me a problem, you have to bring me a solution. You cannot bring me a problem without bringing me a solution because I already know what the problem is. Right. Anyone with common sense can discern a problem. I need solutions. And so that's what I mean. That's what I did in business. And that's what I do here is if you just have a a, a continuous position of criticism, you are not useful to the broader conversation.